New research regarding the effect of long-term use of marijuana on your brain has just been published. Uh, scientists found some pretty interesting things. Uh, for the first time, researchers have found a link between daily, decade-long weed use and a difference in how the brain processes reward. Okay, what the hell am I talking about here? Reward well, as say in... If people smoke a lot of pot, they're, they're going to enjoy doing that on a regular basis. Breaking news. Oh, okay. Okay, let me tell you a little bit more about this study. They looked at the brains of 53 daily long-term pot users, potheads. I don't use that word very often, but these are people who have, for over a decade, used it every single day. It's safe to call them that. Um, then they looked at 68 people who either don't smoke at all or will smoke recreationally every now and then. It affects your brain the same. Now, they would show them images then. Uh, the, first, they took the potheads and they gave them images of bongs, joints, uh, weed plants, things associated, obviously, weed paraphernalia, and they yeah. monitored their brain. <laughs> and the brain activity in certain parts uh, where, where, where the brain processes reward was stimulated and started going crazy. And then they did it to the other people. They would show them, who, who don't smoke weed, they would show them pictures of fruits, pencils, random freaking items, and there was nothing going on. Well, and, and they did not excited by pencils. That's true. You're vegan. You like fruits, though? Sure. Even so, even if you were, that part of your brain that processes reward wouldn't be going crazy even if you love oranges, for example. Well, but, but with weed, it's something different, and that's the link between uh, recreational use and long-term addiction. This a, is this a surprise? They're trying to say that no. a pot is addicting? Is that what they're trying to say? Well, they're, 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 they're pinpointing the certain part of the brain that really is responsible for that and where that line is drawn. I would say, now I'm going to come in on the other side. Of it is the obvious. They I mean, could probably conclude the same thing about Coca-Cola, about Cheetos, about cheeseburgers, french fries, pretty much anything that's comfort food that like hits your pleasure center, I think they could probably make the same conclusion if yeah. they chose to test that. Thank you for that, the Center for Brain Health of Texas. Thank you very much. We didn't know this. Uh, anyways, Francesca Philby, she's a neuroscientist expert at that very center. Here's what she had to say on this. This study shows that marijuana disrupts the natural reward circuitry of the brain making marijuana highly salient to those who use it heavily. In essence, these brain alterations could be a marker of transition from recreational marijuana use to problematic use. So what we talk a lot about on the show when it comes to weed and CBD oil and other things like that, we usually talk about you know the good, the health benefits. Uh, but in reality, it's very hard to discover those because it is a class A drug, schedule one, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, and it, that makes it very hard to study weed. Uh, and, and its medicinal purposes as well as the negative effects on the brain. And for the first time, they actually have really pinpoint the part of the brain that gets affected by this long-term use, and it's the part that really associates uh, reward I have to say with things. So I haven't smoked that's what pot people up. in over 20 years. Okay? okay, I know everybody thinks I'm a big. I seem like I'm high all the time, but I'm <laughs> I'm not. I read the comments. Okay, but but even now, after 20 right. years, when you show me a big crystal. Crystally bud, a big reefer. Not this so much, but when you show the big, you want to bite it. That's hitting my pleasure center. I'm. It's a salient. I'm having a salient <laughs> reaction. I know. So uh, uh, I don't know. They, they 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 hooked them up to all sorts of machines, and this is what they've come to the conclusion of that that people who smoke weed a lot uh, kind of wake up that part of the brain that associates things with with reward. And, and for that reason, people are addicted to weed. So apparently, if you smoke weed every single day, it's not good because you might become addicted. Go figure.